It's Ms. Hines and welcome to the new school year. This is going to be your first remote video for the school year of 2021. We are going to um, begin with remote teaching this year, as you know, and for drama, you are going to do videos like we did last year. And then I will see you um, maybe once a month in your morning meeting, we'll um, have an extended drama class where I'll get to see you live. So I can't wait to see all of you, I miss you, and um, I'm excited to do drama with you again this year. So um, each week we'll have a new drama activity and I'll have a drama project at the end that you can work on during the week. And um, my goal really is for you to have fun and to explore drama. So um, hopefully you have a space in um, your house where you have a little bit of movement room. Um, I'm upstairs in my daughter's playroom, so I have lots of room to move here. And so we are going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to get started like we always do. We are going to warm up our actor tools. And if you are new to Bill Roberts, or those of you who aren't, just a refresher, because I know it's been a while since we've had drama class. Remember that your actor tools, um, you always have with you and you always can use them for acting. And they are your body, your voice, and your imagination. So most uh, weeks we're gonna start with warming up all three of those actor tools. And so let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start warming up our bodies first. We're gonna do a warm up called shake out. So most of you, if you've had drama before with me, have done it before. So you're going to shake your arm and your other arm and your leg and your other leg. Now everybody stand up. I know it's easy to just kind of watch the video and just sort of watch me do it, but believe me, you're going to feel a lot more energized. If you stand up and do this, uh, you've probably been sitting for a while now. So everybody up, find a space and we're first going to shake each of those body parts that I showed you eight times. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Now six. One, two, three, four, five, 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 six. Now four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And now we're gonna do one. When we do one, we do both arms, both legs at the same time. When I say go, ready? Go. One, go, one, go, one. All right, great. Did you notice besides one that um, the numbers that I did, eight, six, four, two, are all even numbers? Just a little math in drama class. <laughs> so um, I don't know about you, but that definitely made me feel warmed up. And so now we're gonna warm up our voices. So we, are um, going to use the story of the three little pigs today. Now I know that that's a story that you probably heard when you were a lot younger, but it's a fun story to do with characters. So I know that you are um, above the three little pig, probably reading ability and, and um, interest, but it, it's just a good one in drama. It's an easy story, almost everybody knows it, um, especially when we're home um, remote learning to use to kind of get some good character work out of it. So just know that up front. But to warm up our voices, we're going to do a line from The Three Little Pigs, and then we're going to try out some characters. So repeat after me until I say stop. Good. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Not by the hell on my titty tin tin. <gasps> Not by the hell on my titty tin tin. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Not by the hair on 
on my chinny chin chin. Not a by the hair on my chin, a chin, a chin. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. <laughs> uh, not by the hair on my chinny chin. I'm just gonna say it normal in my normal voice, and then you repeat it with whatever whatever character you would like. Not on the hair of my chinny chin chin. I wish I could have seen all those characters. Feel free to ever show me a little video. You know I love to see um, all of you doing your acting at home. So um, all, anytime, feel free to. Uh, submit a Flipgrid video, even a video from your cell phone or your parent's cell phone, and um, send it to me. Send it to me um, through Seesaw, or you can always email it to me. I, I just, I love to see um, your acting. I, I saw some last year and it was so much fun. Okay, so we've warmed up our body. We've warmed up our voices, our first two actor tools. Um, our third actor tool is probably my favorite. It is our imagination. And you really, you can't do drama without your imagination. I know you all have such great imaginations. That's why you're so much fun to work with in drama. So for our imagination today, we are going to use GAC. Now some of you might be like, what, what is GAC? Some of you might remember from last year. And so GAC, remember we're using our imagination. It's kind of like silly putty, a little bit like Play-Doh. You have to use your imagination to see it. You can make it any size, any shape you want. Uh, we're gonna keep it appropriate for school. So um, no bathroom humor and nothing inappropriate and nothing that could hurt somebody. So we're not gonna make the GAC into a gun or a bomb or a knife or any kind of weapon. So I'm going to take the GAC and I'm going to make it into something and then I'm going to use it. We'll say, here's a hint, something that one of the three little pigs makes a house out of. was a brick. Okay, so we're going to take the gap. Remember, we're going to pretend it's like a brick. I'm going to pretend to squish it back up oh, about the size of a bouncy ball. And I want you to just you know, play with your gap while I do and make it into something. Maybe it's something else from the story of the three little pigs. It doesn't have to be. It could be. Just kind of get your mind wrapped around that story. Okay, and then make it into something. I wish I could guess what it was. I wish I could see you. Um, maybe we can do this a little bit when we do a live class sometime so um, I can see you doing your GAC. Feel free to play with a sibling, a parent, um, 
anybody, and you can go back and forth. This is a good game to play when you're kind of bored. Um, it just really stretches your imagination. And um, all right, so remember, you can use that GAC. Um, I find it's great to use on long car trips, even short car trips, you know, when you're in the car and you're kind of bored. It's fun to uh, take the old GAC out and play with it and use your imagination. Okay, so we've warmed up our bodies, our voices, and our imagination. And we are ready for drama today, yay! <laughs> so just to refresh you, I'm not going to read you the story of the three little pigs. Um, just to refresh you, I'm just gonna read you a quick little summary, because it might be a while since you've read the story. Like I said, you probably um, heard it when you were younger. So here is a summary of the three little pigs. I'm just gonna read it. Three little pigs leave home to seek their fortune. The first pig builds a house out of straw. The second pig builds his house out of sticks. And the third pig builds his house out of bricks. A wolf comes and blows down the first two houses. He says, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And each of the pigs says, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin when he says, let me in, let me in. And he can't blow down the brick house. The pigs, oh, so each pig runs to their, the next brother's house. So the, the um, pig who built the house of straw, when his house gets blown down, he runs to his brother's house, the house of sticks. Remember this? And then both pigs, then when the pig, when the wolf tries to blow down the stick house, they run to their brother's house that made the house of bricks. And um, the, the wolf tries to blow down the house of bricks, but it's too strong and he can't. So he decides that he's going to go down the chimney to um, get the um, pigs to eat. I think he's thinking about some like bacon or uh, pork chops or something. And um, the pigs put a big pot of water under the fire and they boil it and then the wolf comes down and he splashes into the pot of water. I've heard different versions. Some of them, he gets boiled and they eat them, which is a little gruesome. And um, I've also heard that he, it's just hot water and he runs out and they never see him again. So you can kind of decide which ending you like. I sort of like the non-violent one a little better myself, but it's up to you. Okay, so um, for our first drama activity, you're just going to find some space and we're going to do what are called frozen pictures. They're also sometimes called tableau. You can think of it as like a cell phone picture. Now normally we would do these with lots of kids and it's really fun because we have lots of different pictures, but um, since you're home um, doing this by yourself, most likely, uh, we'll just have one um, character. If, if there's someone else doing it with you, by all means, let them be a different character and create um, some pictures. If you want to um, take some actual pictures of you um, doing these frozen tableaus, I would love that. Please send them to me. Um, remember to use your face, have lots of expression. We're not gonna use our voice at all. We're just gonna use our bodies for this. So think of levels, high. You might stand up really high or stand on something. Don't fall down. Um, a medium level is just kind of standing or um, crunching down a little bit, or a low level means really low to the floor. So it's interesting to have like different levels for the different pictures. Okay, so the first one, I want you to pretend that you are the parent pig. Maybe you're the mom pig or the dad pig. And um, your three sons are um, leaving. You um, are saying goodbye to them. So I want to see, um, a frozen picture of you saying goodbye to your sons who have lived in your house maybe for 18 years and maybe you're happy that they're leaving maybe you're sad so really show on your face maybe you're doing a wave maybe you're blowing a kiss maybe you're excited for them to leave it's up to you all right and your picture of parent pig in three two one picture breathe Okay, stay frozen. We're pretending that I can 
see you all. Oh, it's so expressive. I love the way that you use your faces and your bodies to really tell the story. Okay, great, relax. We're gonna go into the second picture. Um, I want you to pretend this time that you are the wolf. You have just gone down the chimney and you're so excited because you want to eat these pigs, but instead you splash into this really hot boiling water in the pot on the fire. Okay, so that's your picture and really expressive. Use your body, use your face in three, two, one, picture. Okay, great, stay frozen. Really focus, concentrate. Nice, I bet those had a lot of emotion in them. Relax. Okay, and the next one, I want you to pretend that you are the wolf again, and you are blowing down the house of straw. Probably the easiest house to blow down, right? Okay, you're the wolf blowing down the house of straw in three, two, one, picture. Stay frozen. Good, relax. Okay, for this one, I want you to think about how it would be different from the one we just did. You're still the wolf, and this time, you're trying to blow down the house of sticks. I bet it's a little bit harder to blow down that house of sticks. You might have to use more air. So let's see that frozen picture in three, two, one, picture. And relax. Okay, I bet you guessed the third one. <laughs> You're the wolf trying to blow down the house of bricks. You can't do it though. So you, you're probably frustrated or mad. Okay, so let's see. I mean, we got a lot of hot air coming out. Let's see that picture. The wolf blowing down or trying to blow down the house of bricks in three, two, one, picture. Hold it and relax. Okay, now we're gonna pretend that we're the pigs that live in each one of those houses. Okay, so the first one, you are the pig that built the house of straw. You're just chilling in your house and all of a sudden your house, this terrible windstorm comes, the house blows down because the wolf blew it down. So let's see how you would react to that in three, two, one, picture. Freeze and relax. All right, and now you're the pig who built the house of sticks and your house blows down. It's so sad. All right, let's see what that looks like. Three, two, one, picture. Hold it for a sec and relax. All right, now you're the third pig, possibly the smartest of the bunch, and you built your house out of bricks you hear the wolf out there huffing and puffing, but you can't blow your house down. Let's see how that makes you feel. Three, two, one, picture. Good, and relax. All right, good. Um, you can go ahead and get comfortable for a minute because I'm gonna talk to you for a while about your weekly assignment this week. So you are going to do a puppet monologue. So you are going to make either a pig puppet like I did or a wolf puppet. And you are going to pretend that you are this character and you're gonna make up a monologue. A monologue is just like talking out loud, thoughts coming out loud that we use in theater um, about what the pig or the wolf might be thinking. So. Um, you're going to kind of take their point of view. So my pig is actually going to be the um, mother pig. So you could be the mother or the father pig. You could be um, one of the three pigs packing all of your things before you're leaving, uh, talking about what you need to bring for your new life. Maybe you're upset with your mother for making you move out. Um, you could be the wolf. You could tell us why you want to eat those pigs. 
Um, maybe you're Mrs. Wolf, the wolf's mother or father, and you're disappointed in your son for being such a bully, having all this bully behavior and really picking on these pigs. So you're gonna pick um, whatever character that you want from um, the story of the three little pigs. You're going to make a puppet and I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a minute. But um, I wanted to um, show you an example first um, of, of what you're gonna do. So, all right. Like 
this, and then you should have about that much room to cut off. So I'm going to cut that part off, and then I have a square. So then what you do is you take the two sides and you fold it like this. have the four flaps like this. And remember I said that I'm going to link another um, video of someone making it that um, she might explain it a little bit better than me. So if, if you need a little more help, um, just wait for that video and it should help you. Um, and then you're going to flip the paper over and you're going to fold all of these corners in. you don't rip it. Just kind of maneuver it like this so it works like this. Okay, and you might, like mine's a little misshapen right now, so you might just have to kind of refold it a little bit. Okay, then you are going to cut out eyes. Maybe you have googly eyes. Maybe you have a lot of craft supplies. That would be cool. I didn't have any googly eyes, so I'm just cutting paper. I like to cut like a square first, two squares, and then I just cut around, cut two circles, and then I just gonna add dots for eyes, um, like this. On my other one, I kind of added some eyelashes free to get more elaborate if you want. Um, you could give them makeup. You could put on false eyelashes. <laughs> you could get really elaborate and have fun. Um, but just some eyes. And then you're going to take your glue stick. I have the purple kind. I like the purple kind because you can see where the glue is. Um, put it on the backs of the eyes. And Side, which side you want to be the top. This part on mine is a little bit ripped, so I'm going to make that the bottom. So I'm going to make this part the top, so I'm going to put one eyeball there and one eyeball there, and then a snout. So with the snout, you're going to make like an oval. holes with the nostrils like this. Now this is kind of the unusual part is that you're going to cut it in half. So see how I glued on mine half here and half here? So it's like right under the eyeballs So um, then a tongue, if you want. It's kind of funny to have like a tongue or even teeth like inside. So um, maybe this one will cut some little teeth. 
maybe this is one of the three little pigs. I could, I could, you could put the teeth and like make them kind of sticking out so it's kind of like buck teeth. That might be kind of funny. Um, so <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the tongue. Maybe the tongue is better, but you can kind of you can kind of play with it. You can make a tongue and teeth, but for the tongue, you just kind of put it inside there. And again, just like the nose where I sliced it in half and put half on each side, I did the same with the tongue for the hair here. And then I also added some ears up top. Um, it is kind of pointy. Um, I'm going off the tooth. It'll off the nostril. But the, um, the top up here is kind of pointy. If you want to just use those for the ears, that would be fine too. But um, if you want, you could cut. I just cut triangles um, and make ears. So uh, use your imagination for a wolf if you'd uh, like to do um, a wolf. Like I said, I'm going to link um, a video of somebody else making these puppets. And she has a great example of a wolf. So uh, she shows you how to make the pig. She doesn't really show you the wolf but you could kind of pause the video on the wolf and kind of take a look at, at what she did to make um, her puppet. So you, um, if you don't have construction paper, maybe you just use regular paper and use colored pencils or markers or crayons. And um, I think this should be a fun project for you to do. And uh, I can't wait to see some of your videos of your puppet monologue from the Three Little Pigs. So I hope you have fun. I hope you have a great week. And um, remember to stay tuned if you would like to watch the additional video um, of how um, she made her puppet and to watch a read aloud of The Three Little Pigs. Okay, bye. This is Theatre, and I'm gonna show you how to make these pig and wolf puppets. This design uses the same method as folding a fortune teller, so you can use this video to help you make those as well. You can use these puppets to tell the story of the three little pigs, but more on that later. So, let's get on with the make. You don't need much for this make. Paper is the main thing that you need. Coloured if you've got it, but if you haven't, white is fine if that's all you've got. You also need some scissors, some glue, and some colored pens and pencils. And that's it. I'm gonna be making a pig, so I've got pink paper, but you can use whatever color paper you've got or you need for the character that you're making. Now, you need your paper to be a square shape. So if you're starting off with an A4 rectangular piece like this, the first thing you need to do is fold one of the corners over into the middle and then cut along the fold so that you have got a square piece of paper. If you unfold the paper there we've got a lovely square and you can see there's a fold line down the middle and then you're going to fold it again so that when you open it up you've got a cross through the middle of your square. The next step is to fold each corner into the center. So you go all the way around until all of the corners are folded neatly, so as neatly as you can, into the middle. Then you're going to flip it over and you're going to do the same thing again. So you're going to get each corner and you're going to fold it into the middle of the square, all the way around like this. Now, the final bit is a little bit tricky. So to help you, a good tip is to fold your fortune teller in half and then fold it in half again. So you've got a tiny little square like that but then unfold it, okay? That just loosens it up for the tricky bit. Okay, so for the tricky bit, you're gonna get your index finger and your thumb, and you're gonna slot it 
and inside the flaps like this it's a little bit tricky and then same on the other side and when you get inside you need to pinch gently your finger and your thumb together so i'm going to slot inside and inside again it's a little bit fiddly and then i'm going to gently squeeze my finger and my thumb together and then push together at the same time and there you go you've got your fortune teller which we're going to use to turn into a puppet so i've made my features already to save time um, but all you need is your extra scrap paper scissors pen and glue so eyes you need to give your puppet some eyes so that it's got focus and it can see so I'm going to stick those on there we go at the top there now because I'm making a pig I need a little snout so that's just an oval with two nostrils drawn on but what you will need to do if you're making a nose is cut it in half because half needs to go on one side and the other half goes on the other side like this. So one half on this side like that and the other half on this side. So now we've got a snout, one nostril on each side. And you need to do the same with the tongue. So it's good to have a tongue. I'm gonna to cut it in half so that when your puppet opens its mouth, you can see its lovely red tongue inside. So we're going to open his mouth there, pop the tongue inside and on the other side as well. And then we've got two little piggy ears. So a little bit of glue on the front side and pop the ear behind there. So it's peeking out and the same on the other side. And there you have your pig puppet. Now you've got your little piggy puppet, it's time to learn how to use it. So it's pretty straightforward. You just put your index finger and your middle finger in the top and your thumb and your ring finger in the bottom. And then you can control your puppet by moving your fingers up and down and making your puppet's mouth open and close so it can talk. You can use this design to make other characters. Here's a wolf. Perfect for telling the story of the three little pigs. So you can see I didn't have any wolf colored paper when I was making my wolf. So I just used white paper and I colored it in. So it's fine to do that as well. Why don't you make enough puppets tell the whole story of the three little pigs and share it with your family. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Thanks for watching this video. And don't forget, the opportunities are endless. What other characters or animals could you make with this design? See you next time.